You're not just a part of my life, but my everything. Your love reaches way down deep within. Past is human understanding. There will always be a song to you I sing. One word alone doesn't express my heart's desire. Your warm embrace and tenderness Patient with me through all my mess I come to one conclusion You are the best Oh, hallelujah To a king, to a
there somebody that thinks God deserves your worship? Is there somebody that thinks that God deserves your praise? Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He is a mighty and a great God. Praise God tonight. Again, we are here from the King's Chapel United Pentecostal Church. And tonight, again, we are going to be bringing you the gospel message. Right now, we're going to be asking Sister Patricia Hudson to come and pray as we open our service tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Ha. Blessed Jesus. Let's just be in an attitude of prayer right now. Reverence to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He deserves our praises this afternoon. It's a beautiful day to pause and to give thanks to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, the great I am, ha, the everlasting Father, ha, great God of heaven, we bless your name this evening. We thank you for this great opportunity that we can come before you. God, we are nothing, hallelujah. But Lord God, with you, Lord God, we are everything. And so we stand before you this afternoon in Sam Shop Square. Great God of heaven, surely there is a cause. Hallelujah. And the cause is great. Men are dying. People are crying out for you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So many things are happening. Some are turning, Lord God Almighty, to their wealth. Hallelujah. Some are trusting, Lord God, in their money. Huh? Some trust in their education. Some trust in so many things in their motor vehicles. But we know, dear God, that we will remember the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so, dear God, this evening, we come before you. We recognize, Lord God Almighty, that it's urgent. God Almighty, we recognize, dear God, that people, Lord God, need you, Jesus. That only you can make that difference. Hallelujah to God. The security forces, they are trying. But God of heaven, only you can change the heart of men. And so, dear God, we bring them Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. We bring you Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. He is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the one that can transform lives. He is the one that can restore you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every situation is able to handle Father God, and as we come before you this evening, we t pray, Lord God, that you will take charge of the proceedings this evening. God Almighty, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you will break down the middle walls, break down the barrier, God. Every Lord Jesus, hallelujah, Goliath, we pull them down in the name of Jesus. Every principalities, every powers, every rulers of darkness, we bring them down, Lord. Ha! Hallelujah to Jesus. We bring them down this evening. And you must reign. You must reign, God Almighty, in Shamshav Square this afternoon. And so, dear God, I place everything into your hands this evening. I place, Lord God, the speaker, ha! the speaker for tonight, dear God. Father, unctionize him. Let your spirit, Lord God, flow all over him. I pray for the musicians. Huh? I pray, Lord God Almighty, most of all, oh Lord God, for the visitors, the persons who will be walking up to this altar. God of heaven, as they cry out to you this evening, God, we pray, Lord God, that you will hear and that you will answer them. God Almighty, we place everything into your hand. And in all our requests, we pray that your will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody say, in Jesus' name. Come on, saints of God, I can't hear you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I agree in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Huh? Hallelujah. To Jesus. Praise God at this time. We're going to be asking Brother Desmond Carr to come and read our night scripture. Hallelujah. 
Shall we praise love everyone? Tonight's scripture reading will be taken from the book of St. Luke, chapter 21, reading from verses 7 through 28. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Let us all lift our hands and give God thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Surely God is good. Verse 7, read thus. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draweth near, going not therefore after him, them. But when he shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass. But the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you, and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what he shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Hallelujah. And he shall be betrayed by both parents and brethren and king's folks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Hallelujah. And he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But they shall not hear of your head perish. In your patience possess ye your souls. And when he shall see Jerusalem come past with our armies. Then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter there into. For these be the days of vengeance. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck. In these days, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon these people. Hallelujah. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Glory. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. And in the stars and up on the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves whirring, men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Hallelujah. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power. And great glory, final and last. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption. Draw it nigh. Hallelujah. There is a portion of God, holy words, and we honor it by saying, Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I'm glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service. I'm glad to be in God's service. Be in God's service. One more time. Oh, we didn't have to make it. We didn't have to make it. Oh, but I'm glad. Oh, yeah. 
glory to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Tonight, hallelujah, it's the second night of the feast. And last night we, see, we saw God. Doing a great miracle. When the rain came and the saints decided that they were not going to allow the rain to stop them. And they started to worship and they spoke to the elements. And the rain stopped. Isn't our God a mighty God? Hallelujah. He's master of ocean and earth and sky. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God tonight. Hallelujah. We want to. Just thank God for everybody that is here. Praise God. I just want to greet the pastor, Pastor Kelly, and all the saints that are here. And we are about to put on our speaker tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. But before our speaker comes, we're going to be asking Sister Claudine Samuels to come and minister in song. Before the speaker comes, you just worship God as she ministers in Jesus' name. Let me hear the one God apostolic people that understand who we are and understand that we are in warfare and understand that we are out on this ground hallelujah and that he said if i should be lifted up then i'll draw men it's not about us standing here tonight but it's about him drawing do, do, does anybody understand that we are not able to do anything on our own but our god can you open your mouth and give the god of heaven that we worship praise Anybody understand that he's almighty, he's all-powerful, he is God all by himself. I can't hear the apostolics at all. Can we worship him? Put your hands together, give him glory, exalt his name, high and lifted up is our God. Wonderful is he. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Somebody just lift their hand up right now and just worship him. Ah, can we hear the apostolic's voice in, the, in Sam Sharp Square right now? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody over there say, thank you, Jesus. Somebody over here, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. God Almighty, somebody worship him. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, Shandai. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, thank you. Ah, there may be somebody standing in the vicinity in the hearing of our voices. And may, you may be, you know, desiring because the Lord is tugging on you. You want to come. But you're afraid to come because you think that if you come, you won't be able to make it. Hallelujah. I'm here to minister this song to you tonight. Hallelujah. He promised that he's not going to leave us. There's an apostolic here tonight that you're in the church, but you're still struggling. Uh, there's a word here from this song. You just bless the Lord while I sing in Jesus' name. I have seen. The light the flashes Oh God I have heard I've heard the tongue I've heard Sing breakers Dashing Oh to conquer my soul, but I hear the voice of my Savior. He is telling me, I got a fire, I got a fire. Jesus has won. The world fails 
we're just warming up. We're just warming up. Hallelujah. 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 It's, it's just about time for the word. Hallelujah. But just before the minister, the man of God comes, the person of Elder Row, to minister the word, we just want to give God thanks for Sir Kirk Montague here. He is one of the videographers for TVJ, and he has, he has offered, praise God, to come and video our services for us free of cost. We give God thanks for him tonight, praise God Almighty, because at least we know somehow this word will reach somebody else. It won't be just for Sam Sharp Square. Somebody else will receive this word. Hallelujah. Praise God. So at this time, without further ado, hallelujah, we make welcome, praise God, a man of God for the hour, Elder Winston Rowe and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just worship God as he comes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, just raise your hands above your head. I want to tell you something before. Just listen this. Just listen. Every time, everywhere, and every moment, we are in a warfare. St. James is in a warfare. Manticope is in a warfare. I'm going to teach you something right now in the middle of this city. Every warrior, you will raise your hands. If you're not a warrior, don't raise those hands. Raise your hands. And when you raise your hands, we're going to do it for about four minutes. Think about the victory that you need here this time and in Montego Bay. Think about it. See people being delivered. See people being saved. See peace in all the communities. See idols and false doctrines be destroyed. See strongholds being brought down. See sickness and diseases being healed. See people begin to prosper spiritually, financially, mentally, socially. Keep your hands there. Keep your hands there. Ah. Father, tonight, our hands are raised toward the heavens. You said in your word that we should live holy hands without wrath and without strife. We hold our hands before you, standing as sons of God in apostolic authority. And we are claiming victory right now. Victory over the kingdom of darkness. Victory over homosexuality. Victory over thief. Victory over murder. Victory over sickness and diseases. Victory over idolatry. Victory over fornication. Victory over false religions. Victory over bloodshed, innocent bloodshed. Victory over fear. Victory, victory, victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory for that lady. Victory for that boy. Victory for that man. Victory for that girl. Victory in the square. The blood of Abba Shatter. Let the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of 
Jesus flow in Montego Bay, Sam Sharp Square. Let the blood of Jesus flow. Victory. Victory. Yes, Lord. Let every power Rabababashanda Kushata Mandalaba Kushanda Laba Okoshata Let every Kushata Kanda Laroba Kushata Andaba Kusha and Kushaya Let it to Kushandaya Makushata Shabakanda Every power, every power, every power. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know? That God is mighty in the midst of his people. Oh God. Anything can happen here tonight. God is already here. The multitude of heaven is here. The sister came and she sang, I see the light is flashing. I hear the thunder roll. I was coming to sing that song before I started. And when I saw you with the hymnal, I was going to tell you to leave it here for me to sing it. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Lightnings are flashing, thunders are rolling, sin breakers dashing, devils are running. God will never leave us. That's what He says. This is a confirmation. This is what you call confirmation. Spirit of the Lord is here. I greet him. I love him. To my pastor and his wife, Pastor Kelly, Sister Kelly, and to all the warriors from King's Shepherd that I hear behind me, around me, everywhere that you are, the soul hunters that I hear, my God, we are here to hunt souls and we're going to get them. Somebody not going to go hell again. Somebody's going to change their mind. Somebody's not going to be killed again. They're going to be saved. Somebody's going to turn around. Something is going to happen because God is mighty in the midst of his people. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What a God. What a God. We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, you know. So you might not understand what we are saying. But everybody under the sounding of my voice, can I tell you this? God allows you to be here tonight. Some folks came last night. God stopped the rain for somebody to be saved. Some refuse it. Some accepted. You must be sick to see rain stop and you come at altar and have reservation. You're mad. God knows that you were going to be here. God wanted you to hear the word. If you should die, you have no excuse. Rain stop for you. You know, say important. 
and you walk out of here without getting saved. Rain stopped for you. Who stopped the rain? And never the governor general. And never Satan. And never the security forces. And never the commissioner. Nobody else but God. For you and you walk out of here. Joke on Only God can do that. Tonight, tonight, the assignment continues. I'm going to read from 1 Samuel 16. And this is a popular story. Samuel, verse 11. I'm going to read from verse 10. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen these. Samuel said unto Jesse, are there any other, ch are there, are here any, thy ch are here all thy children? And he said, there remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit till he comes to the altar. And he sent and brought him. He was ruddy and with all of a beautiful countenance, good little look. To, and the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for he is he. And Samuel anointed David. Tonight I want to tell somebody that you are not forgotten. The scripture says that even mothers may forget their young ones that they brought into the world. But there's a God who does not forget. Everybody must listen to this tonight. God do not forget. I want to tell somebody that you are not forgotten. Now look at David. David was like some of you out here tonight. You have to stay up on the sidewalk to make a living. You can't go in until you make a certain amount. Some of you have to make sure that you make something so the family can continue. If not, the children can't go to school. If not, there is no dinner. Let me tell you something about you that you never know. You thought that was where God wanted you to be, don't? But David was like you. He was the one who take care of the family business. He was the one that when you come to the house, you wouldn't see him. Some of you have been sitting here for weeks, months, even years. And if somebody wants to see you at your house, they must make an appointment because you depend on the runnings. You depend on the business. You have to make sure say you make enough money to pay your light bill, your water bill, to send your children to school. Are you hearing me, young ladies and young men? You better know that God sent us for you tonight. And God wants to tell you, every one of you, under the sounding of my voice, that I have not forgotten you. I am passing by. I've seen your heart. God knows that you have a good heart, young lady. God knows that you want the good. One mistake you made a couple of years ago and it sent you out of school. 
and it's picked up your life and you have to be doing some hustling and some people do all type of hustling but it's for survival God said to tell you I have not forgotten you you may be sitting down and say, I haven't made enough money for the day. Some of you have to run taxi. Some of you have to stand up and be loader, man. Some of you have to sell jerk chicken and burger clothes. Some of you have to work in at the store, them. Some of you won't go home and can't go home because you have to make it. I'm talking about David. He couldn't just go home, so he must have still there and take care of the family business. That's what you are doing. God have not forgotten about you. Are you hearing me? I'm speaking to someone, Lord God Almighty, that believe that all the day long you will be tending sheep. You will be selling things that some of you don't even want to sell. I want to tell you this tonight. God has not forgotten about you. God is looking at your heart and he's saying, I am ready to anoint and to appoint you. You might have been walking up and down and saying, I can't make nothing. I can't do this. I can't do that. I want to buy this. I can't buy it. I want to do this. I can't do it because I don't have no money. Because I'm not in the place to do it. But listen to me tonight. You might be the rejected of the family. Your family might turn their back on you. Your friends might turn their back on you. But I want to tell you something. God has not forgotten you. God has not rejected you. You have got to know that you are not a rejected piece of clothes. You're not a rejected piece of material. God is looking at your heart. And he knows that you're doing what you're doing sincerely. But you still need a change. You say to God, I wish one day we could have stopped this. I wish one day, but tonight, God said, I'm going to elevate you. God says, if you ever come to the altar, I am going to anoint you. Just like David was anointed by Samuel. Listen to me. There are many persons that are listening to me right now. You have your mother, your father, your friends, everybody around you. But guess what? Them think I saw you stay for the rest of your life. You, you know that you could be living with a king and don't know. Do you know that you could be living with somebody that is going to become one of the greatest business person, true business person in Jamaica and you don't know? Jesse Listen this. Jesse have eight sons. Eight sons. Some of your parents <laughs> might see you as the low down one. <laughs> Some of you, I want you to listen to me. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I know I'm speaking to somebody. Some of you were told that you will never make it. Some of you ending up passing through many relationships. Some of you was abused by your stepfather, your stepmother. Some of you was hurt so badly. You can't forgive the people who hurt you. Some of you hearing me both male and female. You are really the rejected of your family. Rejected so much, some of you might try to commit suicide. Because you were rejected. You're always the one that they call 
to chop the yard, to wash the dishes, to sweep the yard. You're always the one that they want to work out and to slave out. And they never spend the money by, oh Lord Jesus. Oh God. But look upon you today. You might have a little business on the sidewalk. You might have a little store. But I want to tell you, if you have not come to God yet, you have not reached where God wants you to aspire. It's time for you to step up to the altar. There is an anointing for Eglas. There's an anointing for somebody who believed that you couldn't make it. You drop out of school. Everything that you do fail. Nothing can work. Everything you touch go down. When you get your salary, it's just done. But God sent me to tell you tonight that Jesse, he had eight sons but only could remember seven. And God knew that the seven was not the ones that he wanted. There was a little man. There was a little boy that was out in the field. I rejected somebody that was rejected by his very father. And his father forget about him. And when his father forget about him, thank God for the man of God. The man of God said to him, do you have another son? You might be firing gun. Maybe you could be scamming. Maybe you could be sleeping with other man and sleeping with other woman. But God comes here tonight to tell you that it's time to surrender. It's time to get close to your God. God has not forgotten about you. You want to raise up here, them run you. But guess what? God has not forgotten about you. It is you that has forgotten about God. You may be a druggist, sniff the coke, walk up and down from rumba to rumba. But God said to tell you, I have not forgotten about you. Even as I did not forget about David. There are times in our lives. There are many times in our lives. That we have been counted down. Until we can't see ourselves get up. Are you hearing me somebody? You have been told so much negative things. Then call your thief. Your pickpocket. Your life you get positioned. But God is saying tonight. I have not forgotten you. I love you. I don't care how you look. I don't care where you are cell. I don't care where you're sleeping. I don't care where you want to go in the day and the night. But I have been watching you. God is telling somebody that you might have been rejected. But I have not rejected you. I, I want you to get it. There was a king whose name was Saul. A big boy, rich boy living in a palace. And God reject the king. And accept the little boy. Are you hearing me? God is rejecting somebody right now. And he's going to replace you. Jesus Christ. If you are obedient tonight. And give your life to God. And come here sir. And make the anointing run over you. God is rejecting somebody that you think big. You think the damn big? You think because him rich? You think because him white? You think because him have power? God could just reject him and ready to replace him. You could be the replacement, but you are hiding. It's time to know that God has not forgotten you. You fail all of your subject them in a school. All of your friends them gone to university. 
you alone I walk up and down and hustle but God sent King Shapir here tonight to tell you I come for you me no business where the devil are telling me your mind. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke you from the mind. It's your time. It's your season. Put away your pride. Your pride is separating you from getting saved. Come tonight. There's an anointing here for you. That's why we are here. Don't you know that's why we are here? We are not here for ourselves. We are here for you. Get out of your car and come. Cover up your business and come. Nobody can thief nothing. If them touch it, the angel of the Lord chop off them and a time for you trust God. God ready for raise up a higgler. God ready to take you out of the ground. God ready to resurrect you. A long time you're dead. A long time you are try. And every time that you push up your head, somebody tap on it and push you down again. Some of you drown many times. But today, right now, God is resuscitating you. Come unto him because God has not forgotten about you. The Lord Jesus loves you. He has not forgotten about you. You try everything and everything fail. You try to woo me a man. Lord Jesus Christ. You try to woo me a man. You try everything and it fail. And God say, a time for you come. I want to raise you up like David. David come out at him fields and turn king. Can you imagine living with a king and never know? Some of your parents wanted to abort you. Try to abort you. Living with a king and never know. How stupid are you, mother? Run out your daughter out of the house. Run out your son. Abuse them. Because you were abused. Can you imagine? Can I tell you something? I'm going to make an altar call. There's going to be an anointing here for somebody to change. And when you come to this altar, if you come, I don't care which religion you belong to. I'm speaking in the name of Jesus Christ. When you come, I want you to raise your hands and tell the devil, you know, see nothing yet. I ready, me ready now. And when you're stepping at this place, God going to give you a second chance. All you need to do is to turn and tell God, Lord Jesus, I repent. I'm coming to you. I believe I am like David. Even though a God Almighty, my friends don't see nothing in me. Even though my parents reject me. The rejection. God is going to turn it into a blessing. There was another story in the Bible. With a little boy called Joseph. He was also rejected. His own family put him in a hole. A pit hole. Everything done there. Everything done there. Say everything. Everything done there. But somebody say move from the pit. To the palace. God has not forgotten about you. You know long you need to get promotion. But you can't get it until you repent. This altar. Is a special altar. In Montego Bay right now. The altar is troubled. And when you step into this place. And you're serious. There's going to be a transformation in your life. God, if you see us, then God going to deal with you seriously. But if I look at you, okay, God not going to deal with you. 
God needs serious people. Persons who decide that I am tired of rejection. I am tired of people calling me stupid. I'm tired to be acting like an idiot. Me an idiot. Me an a fool. Me a sense. I'm tired. No more rejection. Can you imagine living with a king and you don't know it? <laughs> you are the king in your family. God is going to use you to bring deliverance to your family. But you have got to come to this altar. You have got to obey the voice of God. You have got to say, look, I don't care. If they want to laugh at me tonight, maybe my last night, to walk out of the house of rejection, walk out of the house of abuse, and say to God, here I am, Lord. Only you alone can help me. I know you love me. I know you died for me that I may be delivered. I know, God, that this is not where I should be. But I'm here for a long time. But my time has come on this day. And I am stepping out. Stepping out of Babylon. I'm stepping onto you, God. I'm stepping from where I am. Let me see the first person run. Come to this altar. Because God wants to bring somebody from the pit to the palace. God wants to bring you from the pigsty to the palace. God wants somebody to say, I'm ready. Let me see. Let me see who coming. Some of you was abused when you were smaller. And it make you act opposite to what you are. Run, come to this altar. God has not rejected you. Come on, run, come to this altar. You might be going through some very difficult circumstances now. Difficult situation. Lord God Almighty. But I want to tell you this. Listen to me. God has not forgotten about you. You push a cat, God going to make you push down a Benz. Come in at this. You live in a one room, God going to give you a mansion. Come in at this. You can't read and write, God going to give you the knowledge to read and write. Come in at this. 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 Come in at this, young man. Come. We're closing half now, you know. Remember, remember, this ain't a reggae sun. This ain't a reggae sin splash, you know. We have to close half and go home. The gate is open right now for you to be saved. Don't make it shut. Can we now go up to midnight tonight? This ain't a reggae sin splash. Where some of you are pack up for your, some of you are plant feet. Oh my God, you don't even know what tomorrow bring. You don't even know if you're going to live for see tomorrow. But you are plant feet. But God says, I come for you tonight. I come for you. Lord Jesus, go for the woman to Jesus. Yeah, they, she won't come. Go for her. Bring them man to come. Bring them come, Jesus. Pull them over here. Jesus Christ. Some of you are hiding. Some of you are hiding. A long time you are hiding. You know how long you are hiding? You know how long some of you are hiding? You know say you can't hide from God? A long time you are hiding. And guess what? We not even want to pray for you tonight. We want you to come here and make a conscious decision. Some of you come say you want to look at prayer. You may get a little prayer, walk out a year and then never get to come back again to be, repent of your sins and baptize 
Tonight, if you come to this altar, tell God, I need the anointing. You need to tell God, I need to be saved. Some of you might be hooked up in some other religion. But God is telling you tonight. You can come out. And put the name of Jesus on you. Can I tell you something before we close? Why don't you just make a decision. And put on the name of Jesus on you. Tonight. The last time we were here, I know some persons heard us preaching, but they never come. And some of them might dead by this and regret it that they never come. Some of you live more than 365 days last year alone and never accept the Lord. And you want to complete another 300 and 65 days and don't accept the Lord you know what is that worklessness your soul is more important than the clothes by your back and you know what I'm tonight God wants to elevate you watch me now watch me I'm calling the men to come we need some more men at this altar you want to tell Mr. Man to go be and have no more man? We need some more man at the altar. Run, come men. Run, come. Don't make nobody stop you. Run, come men. Tell somebody if you watch your stall and come. Call one of the brethren for watch your stall and come over here. We have enough of us over here that can come and stand by your stall. Call them and come. We will stand in the gap for you. We will stand in the gap for you. Will you come? Will you come? Come young men. Jump over the rail and come. Walk around and come. Run come. Run come. God has not forgotten about you. Come. Come. Why won't you come? Why won't you come? Just come, my man. Come. I'm going to say three more times. Three more times. I'm going to call you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're inviting you to come so that you can be changed. So that you can be blessed. So that you can have salvation. Ladies and gentlemen, come. The last time. I'm going to say it the last time. last time will you come from where you are come Jesus loves you Jesus blood was shed for you maybe some of you just need to start again come
just asking all the saints that are here, I want us to participate in what is happening. Don't stand afar off, but just come and be a part of what is happening here. Just draw closer to the altars because unity is strength. Just remember that somebody prayed with you when you were at the altar.
Somebody, can you just draw closer? This is the altar. This is where the souls are slain. And so, if we are joined in hands and heart together, those who are at the altar shall surely get their breakthrough. Hallelujah, Jesus.
You are, you are my day. 